What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So there's an article I wanted to talk to you guys about and it's on web update. They're one of a lot of Linux blogs that are actually talking about this but the Linux Mint team has announced Cinnamon 2.0 and they've also said that it's an entire desktop environment. Now I wanted to highlight this in its own video because I think this is probably one of the most substantial um, moves that the Linux Mint team has ever made. Um, so in this particular uh, article, which I will link in the video description below, um, Cinnamon is no longer a front end on top of GNOME, um, but it's an entire desktop environment. Now Cinnamon is built on GNOME technologies and it does still use GTK, but it no longer, no longer requires GNOME itself to be installed. This is huge. I think that this is one of the most exciting um, exciting announcements in Linux in some time. Again, I, I've referred to Linux Limbo ever since GNOME Shell has come on the scene and you know GNOME 2 has kind of gone away. The desktop environment scene has kind of been a little up in the air. Now I'm so excited to see what the Linux Mint team is going to do with this because now that it's using their own backend and they don't have to be built on top of GNOME uh, itself, they can have complete free reign to do anything that they want with uh, development and they don't have to be um, constrained by GNOME. Now, what I'm really surprised about is the fact that you've got a, a, a project like Ubuntu and a whole team of paid developers with Canonical behind it and they haven't done this yet. Um, <laughs> that baffles me. And once again, it just goes to show you how powerful the open source movement can be. And I think this is amazing. Now, I'm not going to go through all the changes because I'm going to actually do an install. Uh, I believe of the f this web update article talks about installing it using a PPA on top of Ubuntu 13.10. So I'll probably do an install of Ubuntu 13.10 and I will get Cinnamon uh, 2.0 working there, but you know they've got some really, really new things here um, with the file manager. Uh, they've got they've basically forked the GNOME user accounts now, uh, so it's going to be kind of a Cinnamon accounts sort of thing here. Um, they got their own uh, Bluetooth daemon. Let's see here, a bunch of applets that they're talking about. Uh, let's see some new tiling features. Let's see here. So yeah, I mean, super exciting. Uh, I think that, you know, and of course, Cinnamon 2.0 is going to be released in Linux Mint 16, which I believe is due to hit by the end of November, and I will definitely be giving that a review, full review and install. Um, but this is so exciting. I'm surprised that, you know, we haven't had, uh, you know, with all the stuff Ubuntu's doing, you know, they're, they're working on... It just kind of goes to show you that Ubuntu is not necessarily so concerned about the desktop as they are um, getting Unity working on other form factors other than the desktop. And let me qualify that statement. If they were really concerned about the desktop, they would have moved away from GNOME a long time ago. Um, they're making moves to kind of pull away from GNOME, but they haven't done it completely. The reason being is it's just that their desktop, in my opinion, is not their focus. If it was, they would not be working on creating a whole new display server. And why are they doing that? They're not doing that for the desktop. They're doing that so Unity can run on tablets and phones. So their efforts is really being pushed in other form factors other than the desktop. While Linux Mint is pouring all of their time, all of their development, all of their energy into the desktop itself. So the Mint team once again has come onto the scene and is doing something just spectacular. So two thumbs up for Linux Mint. So happy for you guys. Great to see that the development is going in this direction. 
and it's something to be excited about and i think that more people should be talking about this which is why i'm making this video so i really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below let me know what you think about cinnamon 2.0 if any of you have tried it uh, feel free to leave your feedback i'd love to create a good discussion about this um, i may put try to put a google hangout together from some other popular linux youtubers and we can have a discussion about it and uh, maybe we can get a chat room going in irc as well so but that's it, guys. I just wanted to let you know that Cinnamon 2.0 is going to introduce an entirely new desktop environment. So this is, I can see other distributions now, you know, using this possibly as their main desktop environment. Um, I can see that a lot of, I can see a lot of people getting behind Cinnamon 2.0 now that it's going to be its own desktop environment. This is just so, so exciting and i cannot wait to uh, start playing with it myself and seeing all the new changes and um, i'm excited so anyway leave your feedback in the comment section below and until next time we'll talk to you guys later